This is a short uh, feeding video of Colonel, my corn snake. He's fi finishing off an adult mouse and I'm going to uh, give a small piece of beef heart to Colonel after he gets the mouse mostly eaten. And uh, this is just a feeding video where you uh, can see a corn snake Colonel eating a mouse, working his jaw side by side. Very interesting creatures. One of the interesting aspects of having a snake is feeding it, watching uh, it uh, change its color over time. I've had uh, Colonel since he was 18 inches long or so. Uh, so as a baby, I got him at a uh, reptile trade show in. Nampa, Idaho more than a year ago and this is just an opportunity to uh, put onto my onto YouTube uh, a uh, feeding video and I'm going to uh, feed him this piece of beef heart I've scented it with a little bit of uh, live mouse I'll hold the beef heart using my uh, tweezers Oops, sorry. And as uh, Colonel gets that mouse into his mouth, I'll uh, sneak the beef heart in so that Colonel gets a little beef heart and mouse tail. in his mouth and I'll allow him to chew down on that uh, piece of beef heart. Very nourishing, high protein meal for a corn snake. Very uh, not normal meal for a corn snake. Corn snakes usually eat uh, mice and rodents but they are opportunistic feeders and uh, so they uh, can feed on a variety of things and my uh, corn snake eats beef heart because <laughs> I feed it to him. Ordinarily corn snakes do not attack cattle and do not go for their internal organs and uh, this helps uh, me assure that uh, the mice that I'm raising in my ma uh, mouse colony downstairs um, are nourishing and uh, Colonel has done really really well you can see in his body where that mouse has traveled to and uh, he's uh, the mouse is probably uh, four or five inches down his uh, throat now from his head and now uh, Colonel is uh, finishing or devouring the uh, moistened uh, beef heart that I allowed a live mouse to uh, crawl on to scent just in case he wanted it to smell a little bit like a, uh, a mouse and uh, right now the mouse is uh, in this area here on uh, Colonel's body and uh, it gradually it will work down past the that area where it's at now, his uh, rhythmic actions of his body allow and contractions that I can't see muscular contractions inside of his rib cage uh, and musculature inside uh, squeeze the mouse gently down his body. Now, my uh, corn snake here hasn't fed for about nine days and uh, I'm just giving him an opportunity to uh, have a really big meal today and 
I think this is a good enough video that I'm going to act, put it onto YouTube. And uh, oh, look at that! He decided to not eat the beef heart. That is interesting. He has uh, regurgitated that beef heart, and he's sort of yawning. And I think I'm still going to put this on YouTube. That was very interesting. He's got the big mouse inside of his body, and he's decided he does not want to eat beef heart. I'm going to back up just a little bit. He's scenting around the uh, enclosure a lot, and I find this behavior very interesting. I have another mouse right here. I think uh, I might uh, kill it humanely and offer it to the uh, to a kernel to eat. I'm going to set the camera down for just a moment. There is the mouse, recently deceased, and Colonel is crawling over the top of it. Now, I'm not sure that he's going to try eating two mice. It may just simply be too much of a, a meal for him. What I'll do is uh, make... Oops! <laughs> What I'll have to do is uh, end this video here and uh, continue download it onto YouTube.